Greetings, Sir Shrimpington here. Today, we're going to talk about a few scripts that I think every player should have at their disposal. Wait, no, don't click away from the video. Scripts are fun, I promise. I Fine, I'll explain what the scripts do, and then I'll simply give you the script, so all you'll need to do is copy it. Sound good? Good. Oh, we also have the channel's second giveaway, courtesy of one of my Twitch viewers. One million gold will be given to one lucky winner. To find out how to enter, simply wait until the end of the video, and I'll tell you. Anyway, welcome to... Sir Shrimpington's Guide to Useful Scripts. Here we go. Unky Shrimpy. Mm, what is it, little Timmy? How goes the soil collecting? Uh, I used the script you gave me, and now I can't stop digging. My arms, help me. Oh, yes. That script is an infinite loop to never stop digging. Thank you so much for activating it. Ha <laughs> ha. Please, Unky Shrimpy. Shh. Little Timmy, get Unky some soil for his contraband plants. <laughs> oh, yes. Scripts. Do you like doing things without doing things? Do you like writing code? No? Well, that's all right. Do you like watching TV whilst your skills go from 50 to 120? Oh, Suki, please pick my favorite vampire man. Well, then it sounds like you need to start using scripts. Using scripts in Outlands is as easy as opening Razor. You know, the thing that always launches when you load the game. And going to the scripts tab. Here, we can simply write a program, save it, and then hit play. You know how to write a program, right? Hands up! Show me your computer science degree! Well, if not, don't worry. Jason's The Mega Chad has a website filled to the brim with any script you like. So go and blindly copy them. I'm sure nothing naughty will happen. Mm, there he is. Okay, let's talk about my top scripts that I use every single time I play Outlands. Script number one, escape through gate. This script will automatically look for a nearby gate and then teleport you back to the last selected town that you went to using a gate. Sounds lame, right? Wrong. This script will get you out of dungeons instantly, so when the red player shoves his long pork sword into your buttocks, you can very quickly escape through the gate without navigating gumps. Just be sure to set this script to a hotkey so that you have a panic button. Script number two, in-room script. This simply opens the in-room gump and then automatically selects the option to go into your in-room. This is great as you don't have to stand around in town trying to get into your room whilst a naughty naughty boy is snooping in your backpack. Script number three, instant recall spell. This will cast the recall spell on your rune book or tome, automatically selecting the default location set inside your book. This way, you can panic TP using your rune book 
without having to open it. Oh, yes. Okay, let's move on from scripts that simply teleport you around. Script number four. Re-equip weapon. This is great for room tome enjoyers and mages. Are you tired of dropping your weapon each time you recall? Well, simply set up this script to automatically re-equip your weapon each time you recall. You'll need to wait until the recall is completed, but this way you don't need to root around in your bag looking for your weapon. Easy peasy. Script number five. Cancel action. This script will automatically cancel any action that you have activated, such as casting a spell or using forensic evaluation, etc., etc. Basically, when your mouse gets stuck like this, you use this script to stop the ability. It's incredibly useful. Script number six. Training scripts. This one is more of a category, but if you're manually training taste ID, then you are a moron. Use a script to train it AFK whilst you pop to the shop and buy a chocolate bar. Mmm, delicious. Script number seven, shelf loadouts. Oh yes, you don't actually need to buy the shelf customization to get more loadouts. Simply use the Outlands Butler website to set up a shelf loadout and then generate a script using this shiny shiny button. This will automatically create a brand new loadout in your shelf for you. You can make as many as you like. Sorry, Owen. Please don't remove this. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Script number eight. Gathering. Oh, yes. No one is manually gathering. Make sure you have a script set up to automatically grab all of those resources for you. Otherwise, clicking over and over will give you carpal tunnel. And the devs are not paying for our medical insurance. Damn it, devs! Script number nine, achievements. Some achievements require using certain items over and over again. Simply set up a script to do this AFK and you'll be farming those points in no time. I've been farming this illusionist achievement for weeks now and damn it, I'll get there one day. Finally, script number 10. Oh yes, I saved the best for last. Cheeky, aren't I? The item recycler script. This will automatically identify and recycle all of the unidentified magical equipment in your backpack. If you don't have item ID leveled, then you'll need to carry an ID wand for this to work. Oh, and make sure you have a sewing kit too, you know, to recycle the item. This script changed my life. Before this script, I was an absolute tiny beta shrimp with a tiny PP. After this script, I am an absolute beta shrimp with a tiny PP. That's right. Scripts do not change who you are. You are still a fucking nerd. Ha ha ha. Oh shit. Anyway, this script can be set up to keep any magical items that you want to keep, such as vanquishing weapons or invulnerability armor. It can be set to automatically consume the arcane essence gained, and most importantly, using this script in a dungeon will lower the weight of your backpack dramatically. This script has extended my dungeon runs, and therefore my gold gain, by around 5 to 10 mobs per run. Oh yes, please do not sleep on this script like I did. It's very quickly 
become my favorite. All right, all of these scripts can be found in the description below. I think, maybe. Some of them might not. I don't know. Take a look. Either way, head over to JSON's website and look for yourself. There are just so many useful scripts. Shout out to Bapeth. I have seen the work you put in, and by golly, I am impressed. You sexy hunk of a person. Smooches. Unky Shwimpy, the soil, please save me. Aha. <laughs> oh, Timmy. Yes, I'm certain that's enough soil for now. Simply press the hotkey you set up to turn off scripts, and that infinite loop will stop. You did set up that hotkey, right, Timmy? Uh... Thanks for watching. If you want to enter the 1 million gold giveaway, courtesy of Jobo86, the absolute Chad Twitch viewer, then simply leave a comment telling me your favorite Outlands script below. It can be one from this video, or one that I didn't mention. Teach me something new, baby! Oh, and make sure you're subscribed. I do check, and fuck me! YouTube analytics tell me that most of my viewers are not subscribed! It genuinely helps me out, so please do hit that button, baby! If you learned a new script in this video, then please do de-click thumb on like button. Oh yes. Well, I'm off to write a script that will undress my alt. Oh yes, he'll be naked in record time. Ta-ta! Sir Shrimpington, out! Some achievements require using certain items over and over again. Oh shit, I lost where I was. Oh, still here after the blooper, are we? That's right, I only messed up this script once. <laughs> I'm getting better. Well, let me tell you a script that gives you infinite gold. Simply type out, if not Sir Shrimpington, give gold to Sir Shrimpington. Ha <laughs> ha, oh yes.